Hi everyone. In May of 2020, Lenovo released the ThinkPad T14. I bought one for myself in September of 2020 with the Intel Core i7. I bought it from my own money, so there's no sponsoring involved. This year in May 2021, Lenovo released the ThinkPad T14 Gen 2. So my question now is, what are the differences and is it worth to buy the Gen 2 if you already have the Gen 1? Let's try to find out. Let's look at the specifications of the T14 Gen 2 and try to find out what has changed. Or I start with the things that have not changed that much. Uh, here we have the tech specs of the T14 Gen 2. There are some new display options, but the last three, they have been available the year before already. If you, for example, bought the low power consumption Full HD display with 400 nits, then it's basically the same. Dimensions did not change at all, meaning that it is basically the same housing. It also weighs the same, 1.47 kilograms, as well the Gen 1. And you can see that when you look at the pictures, okay, here are other colors, but these are basically the same interfaces. USB, Ethernet, USB-C, USB-C, USB, HDMI, headphones, and microSD. These are basically the same as last year. And also the batteries did not change at all. Uh, both of them have a 3-cell 50 watt hours battery. So what has changed significantly is of course the, the processor to some extent the memory and the graphics card. I start with the memory. The memory is still up to 48 gigabytes, but this time it's DDR4 with 3200 megahertz. The older version had up to 48 gigabytes with 2667 megahertz. Then what also has changed is the integrated graphics. It's now um, Intel Iris Xe. Then there is the newer Thunderbolt version Thunderbolt 4 as opposed to Thunderbolt 3. Next let's look at the processors. Of course the Gen 2 has the newer Intel Core i7 up to 11th generation. I compare it with the uh, Core i7 because I bought last year the 10th generation Intel Core i7 510. Now it's the Core i7 but the comparable version would be the 1165 G7. So I have looked up the specifications directly from Intel and there you see it is built with a smaller lithography which means it's 10 nanometers compared to 40 nanometers of 10th generation which means that it will probably be a little faster and would consume less power. So the result should be that the battery runtime should be longer. But how much much faster is it really? I have looked up two different benchmarks from cpubenchmark.net and from CPU Monkey. And here we see on the left side the older 10th generation compared with the 11th generation. The, the older is around 6890 and the newer one is 10600. So that's about 50% more. And similarly, it looks like here. Here we also have, when testing with Cinebench single core, it's around 33% uh, around faster. And with multi-core, it's almost double as fast. Cinebench R20, it's not that much of a difference. But yes, you can say the newer version, the newer processor is significantly faster, but is it fast enough to say, yes, I need that. The last difference is, of course, the graphics. With the Gen 2, it's the integrated Intel Iris Xe. Before it was the Intel UHD graphics. In my case, it, it was the 620. And what does this mean? This means that the newer one has 96 execution units as compared to 24 execution units with the older one. And in the benchmarks, it results in quite a higher score. It says around 300 plus so it's three times faster and if you look at notebook check then you have the same information so in conclusion there are some notable differences but for me they are not that great that i would storm off and buy the gen 2 right now but that's for me i don't think as long as the difference is not major so i mean if it's not three times, four times, five times as fast, I, I don't think it makes for me any financial or economical sense. I will not work 
twice as fast if uh, the processor is twice as fast. But uh, what do you think? Would it be worth it for you? Would you sell you perhaps sell your old generation one and uh, buy the new one? Tell me down in the comments below or if you have questions, feel free to ask me. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and leave a like and I see you soon.